Hey YouTube, this is Geeks Cards, and today I'll be comparing the old 360 to new Xbox 360. I always call it the Xbox 360 Slim. I'm not going to be talking about the tech specs and all that mumbo jumbo, just the cosmetic changes. Now this old Xbox is a pre-HDMI Xbox, and it has a 20GB hard drive and no built-in wireless adapter. This new Xbox 360 has a hidden 250GB hard drive and a built-in wireless and adapter. Now with the size and the weight, you can tell by looking at the two that the new 360 is a lot smaller than the older 360. The new 360 is actually an inch shorter than the old 360. And just by lifting the 360s, I can tell that the new 360 is much, much lighter. Now on with the face of the 360s. The new 360 has a touch sensitive buttons here the power button and the tray button unlike the old 360 which has physical push buttons the new 360 still uses the tray just like the old 360 and the memory card slots are missing from the new 360 since you can now use USB thumbstick drives as memory cards and the control sync button from right here is now moved down here above the USB ports and the USB port slot is actually in a vertical position while your Xbox 360 is standing up, unlike your old 360, which is horizontal. They both still have two USB ports. And on the old 360, you could take off the faceplate. With the new 360, there are no faceplates. You can't take them off. Now on with the hard drive. The old 360 has a hard drive that sits up on top and the new 360 actually has a hard drive hidden at the bottom Girl, pull it out there it is, new 360 hard drive 250 gigabyte next we have the sides Alright, on the new 360 we have a big vent right here with a big fan underneath it. This allows the heat from the components to escape fast and directly from the new 360 instead of traveling on the old 360 to the top or bottom vents. Now on the top of the new 360 and the bottom there are vents but I don't think heat escapes from those because they're always cool. Now on the back of the 360s back of the new 360 actually has a lot more ports than the old 360. We have three USB ports right here. That's a total of five. Two in the front, three on the back. On the old 360 there is two little holes right here. This was for the Xbox Live adapter so now since there's an adapter built into the new 360 they didn't need that so they made the 360 a little slimmer. Right here with the Ethernet port, a special port for the Kinect. HDMI port, AV port, optical audio port, and right above the power port, you see that little hole right there? That's actually a Kensington lock port. Now the finish. The new 360 has a high gloss panel black finish, and the old 360 has either a white or black matte finish. Now the, I just gotta say this. The new 360 runs a lot quieter and a lot more cooler than the old previous 360. This is really worth the money. It barely gets hot. The only part it gets hot at is right here, and that's where the heat shoots out directly from the components. And here's the new controller. Not much has changed, just some color changes. And the guide button is now chrome. And actually, the old accessories for the controller can work on this, like the chat pad. And I can't find the IR port on the new 360, but I know that the Xbox 360 remote works on it, because I've tried it before. So that's what changed on the new 360. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Look forward to more videos. Thank you.